Welcome back, sports fans. Game number two between the White Sox and the Minnesota Twins. We got a four-hitter, or a combined four-hitter, between Kevin Correa, Casey Fine, and Glenn Perkins. Game number one to take the game 2-1. Two to one. So, Darnell, recently called up after the trade of Ricky Nolasco and Mike Pelfrey, will get his first start of his career. See if we can keep the... Uh, Pitching mastery going that we've had through the last two games. Looking pretty good so far. So, uh, have I figured out how to pitch? Have I figured out how to keep the ball down and uh, shut down the opposition? Or is it just the fluke? And are we in for something bleak on the horizon? I get Aaron Hicks out of there. Josh Bartley, or Josh Williamham. Josh Willingham is back in action after having to miss a couple games with a, uh, a blister of all things. I don't know if that's um, really why I want one of my big power hitters out of the lineup, but uh, he's back, so we'll get him in the lineup and get the rest of our big boppers going, and uh, let's do this. I'm going to try fast play. I really like presentation mode, um, but it does kind of drag on a little bit, and... Uh, you know, I want to keep guys interested when you're following along. So we'll, we'll go with uh, fast play this time and, and see how that works. Still having uh, Eric Karros and Steve Lyons muted and me kind of functioning as the uh, de facto uh, color guy. Chris Tillman, 12-6 and six with a 3-3-3. I'll be honest, I'm not – I'm a baseball fan. I'm a huge baseball fan even though I play – a fantasy baseball. I really have no idea who Chris Tillman is. Actually, I think he came from the Orioles. Um, but yeah, I'm completely unfamiliar with him. So uh, this is going to be a little bit interesting. We'll uh, get a look at him for the first time this year. See what uh, what he's all about. Brian Dozier will stand in here. He drove in one of their two runs in last night's ball game. Dozier actually let off the game. Oh, why didn't you tell me they were going with their throwbacks I so would have went with our throwbacks and that swung on and fouled straight back oh that disappoints me Dozier actually let off the game I think it was the first pitch first pitch homer I had the one nothing lead for several innings off of that Ooh. and this is in We're the air down there. the left field line and into foul territory and this will fall but it's a foul ball thought he was gonna get to that there for a second And this is in the dirt oh, wow, 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 get there, get there, get there. What? I was trying to, I was trying to go head first there, and uh, I thought I just had to push the right stick up towards the base, and it actually, like, he slowed down. I think if I wouldn't have done anything, he would have beat that out. Oh, well. Now a swing and a ball grounded to second. Up with the ball is Keppinger. Throw to first is in time as Maurer becomes out number two. I love the throwbacks. I wish I would have known. Will stand in for the first oh. time. And you can see the average there as he continues to flirt with a 400 season. Totally would have went with the, with the powder blues for the Twins. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Wish it would show that. I wish it would show. That's one, that's one of the few complaints. I wish it would show... Um, what uniform the computer's going right with. on the fastball there as this is hit pretty well out towards deep left. Vasaido is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Adam Eaton will step in now. Every time I like the flow of uh, the fast play a little bit better, but I do like the presentation aspect, so we'll probably stay on fast play just because we breeze through it a little bit. And he goes the other way with a fastball as this is hit well out toward deep left field. Willingham has to retreat a bit, but he gets there for route number one. That so reminds me of Harold Baines with the, with the beard and the, his uniform. He the collar in awesome. last night's ball game in which the team could muster all of one run. Now the 3-1 pitch. Fastball is taken for a strike and he runs it full three and two. Darnell gets his first out, and I, had to, I have to be honest, I forgot that he was a lefty, and I was like, whoa, wait, what's going on here? Why is he throwing like this? And ah. he missed with that one. It's ball four, a one-out walk here in the home first. Gotta, gotta focus a little bit better when I'm broadcasting. You get his first shot here with the runner at first now and one away. 
I get a little impatient and I don't concentrate fully. By Deaza. Here's the pitch. Now a slider hit pretty well, but he might have got under it just a bit as this is out toward deep center. Arcia is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. I wasn't sure if it was going to throw or not. I kind of reset his first it. Opportunity here, and as you can see, he's got that average up over the 290 mark to begin play. Well, no two seamer to run inside on him today, so I think we'll just go with a fastball down. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. I'll take that first Josh inning. Willingham leads things off now in the top half of the second. At least the pitching half of the first inning. The hitting mm, kind of leaves something to be desired there. 1-1 one, one pitch swung on and pulled down the line to third. Pro to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Oswaldo Arcia will get his first shot at it here. Kind of baseball euphoria here with these old uniforms. They got the little um, spinnaker things up there looking like old Kaminsky. Now it's I like it. a hard hit ball to short. I feel like a kid. A base hit. So the twins are into the hit column for the first time. Trevor Plouffe will stand in now. He drove in the other of their two runs last night. Yes. Game winning home run. Was it eighth or ninth inning? I think it was the eighth. Yeah. Game winner. So he's been on fire lately. Definitely like to see him keep that up. I mean, my, my guys have no speed. I can't ever steal any bases because none of my guys have any speed. Now a hard oh. hit ball back up the middle. Man. <laughs> Throw on to first, two gone. If y'all were watching the first game, you saw me hit a ground ball like that we'll right to the second the baseman. Time, looking to pick up that looked like he was just like positioned there because he knew it was coming. Oh, well. Well hit high in the air and deep to center field. Eaton will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Adam Dunn will get his first opportunity now. 14 home runs to his credit so far this year. Surprisingly, this is the sixth game I've played. I think this is only the second at bat I've seen Adam Dunn. Dunn that open stance and here's the pitch. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. It's funny because I was laughing the last game that they brought him in in the ninth inning as a, as a defensive replacement. Which, maybe he's good defensively. I just don't think of him like that. Line oh, hard to center up. field. And a base hit as the All right, Logan. pick up their first Not of the ball game. I want to get this going. Connor Gillespie will dig in here. A runner at first with no outs here. Now the 1-1. One, 1-2 one. One now. One ball, two I'll take that if you can keep doing that. Uh, sure, let's see if we can blow another one by him. On the ground to second. Nice. The second for one. On to Mauer. It's a double play. I will take that Jeff all day Kepinger long. Get his first chance now. Trying to get something started with two away here in the bottom of the second. The 2 1 home. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Wow. <laughs> his whole zone is red. Definitely don't like that, but I think that's a little misleading. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Kurt Suzuki is ready to go here as we begin the third. Man, and I was just talking about I should have pulled Kurt Suzuki out the last game and put Pinto in, and here I forget to do it again in game two. Out in front here as this is pulled down the third base line. Although but a foul ball. Kurt One did get a... The count now. Shut up, Matt. Kurt did get a uh, base hit last night, so. Fouled back. Ended up paying off. Sometimes I like to swing contact swings here, try to work the pitch count up a little bit, but I want a base hit. And now one taken by Suzuki as he draws it even at two and two. Although I've actually hit a few home runs with Joe Maurer with contact swings, so uh, it can definitely happen. 
And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Well, now, you know, you guys that have been watching this, you know that taking two consecutive balls for me is like a act of Congress. <laughs> That's pretty weird. But I gotta work on I gotta work on my, my patience because I'm just I could definitely be doing a lot better. I could be a little bit more patient. Now a swing and a short ground go. ball toward the hole, and a base hit. So early trouble to lead off the inning. Jason Bartlett will get his first opportunity now, and as you can see, he enters play with that average up near the 320 mark. And he's fallen behind now, three and one. Makes it a lot easier to be patient when half of his pitches are balls. And he takes Take ball it. four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. All right, got something cooking here. Nobody out. One, one. Top of the order up. Take it. Let's go. Let's do something with it. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Yeah, I'll sit here and let him walk the bases loaded, walk somebody in. Runs a run. Ooh. That was nasty. Good pitch there. Catches the outside corner for strike two. Definitely didn't want to swing at that on two and one, though. Keeping him close there at second. Now the pitch. Ooh. And this is low, but dirty. it's corralled quickly, and both runners will have dirty, to hang dirty. on. Joe Maurer will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Nice. There we go. I'll get us on the board. And that's through into center field. Base hit. The throw to the plate. Now a diving tag. Wow. Are you wow. I'm not going to complain about that just because that was cool animation. Wow. That's crazy. I've never seen anything like that before. The 3 1 is on the way. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Slice down the left side, but foul. Yeah, Only I reached 24 for that one. pitches to this point in the inning. It's nice. We needed to get his pitch count up a little bit, so we needed this. Just did get a piece I still of can't believe he threw him left. out. Wow, that was crazy. That was that was crazy. I'm gonna have to go back and save that highlight later on. Nice. There we go. The Ain't throwing him out. A base hit as the runner nice. will score from third, and the Twins are on the board first, one to nothing. Kendris is just wow. He's been such Josh a beast. Willingham will stand in. Such a he beast. He grounded out his first time. I like it. Definitely not completed. That was like the pickup of the century for getting Kendris Morales, and I'm glad the Twins did it in real life. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't. Have. Second. Now here's the pitch. Oh! And he sends a fastball out to left field and fairly well hit. Nice. And this is into the bleachers in left a home run. Oswaldo Arcia. Three run bomb. Nice. First time Jay Will making his return from his blister. Three run bomb. This is a hard Ooh, hit ball back up the it. middle, and he's going to have his second hit tonight as it's into center field for the base hit. So one thing I might need to look at is the sliders because you find it a little too easy to hit home runs. He grounded out his first time. If anybody's got some slider suggestions out there, um, send it to me. Mine are pretty default. I've tweaked them a little bit to try to make it not quite as prevalent um, right on the corner, two and two. With, uh, with home runs, but uh, still seems like majority of my runs come from the long ball. And I was talking and not paying attention. I should have drove that pitch. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. A lot but of deep counts for these guys early on. I'm just going to say I, I definitely like uh, I'm working the counts a lot better. Pitch in the dirt, swung on and missed for strike three as they'll need to throw to first here. And the throw to first will indeed get it. Diane Viciedo makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Well, rookie, you got a four-run lead. Um, hopefully that uh, you weren't sitting too long there and didn't cool off. Here comes off. the 2-1. Good fastball that time as he's pulled the count back to even now. It's two and two. Pop in the glove. Definitely like the way that sounds. So far, so good. Still early. And a good <laughs> bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the Nice. Year. I missed on that one, but it actually Tyler wound up being perfectly placed. Get his first opportunity now. 
These guys have blue up here. I want to try to blow it past them. And this one misses here. A close yeah, pitch sometimes on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. Runner at first here, one man out. And this is fouled back and out of play. Goes the other way as this is lined to left. Uh, this will hang up just long enough to be run down in shallow left for a tough second out. Got a little worried about that one at first. We'll stand in. He threw base on balls his first time. Harold Baines is at the plate. Harold Baines. It's awesome. I do not want to leave this over the plate. I uh, had him nice. guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. It wasn't perfect uh, timing for me, but I definitely like the way that looked. Let's just see if we can get him out of here. A runner on first with two away. Now another 0-2. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. I like this big big sweeping breaking ball here. Even when I miss, it's still, it's still diving down late. So definitely like that. Let me get one more going. In the dirt here, but Suzuki's able to keep it in front of him. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Quit messing around. There we go. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Jason Kubel will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. And he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. This guy's got such a deliberate delivery. He's got a step back, rock, and throw. It's kind of makes you put you to sleep a little bit. Swing and a hard hit ball down the line Perfect. in right. And he is going to have extra bases to start the fourth. We got the bats going and a little bit today. He's in the second base with a leadoff double. Kurt Suzuki will dig in. He singled his first time around. Suzuki. Ready now on one and one. Oh, and he dialed that one down and got him to swing through it. It's one and two now. Got a little anxious there. And now one taken by Suzuki as he draws it even at two and two. 63 pitches in uh, basically three innings. Hasn't got an out yet, so that's Short lead from second, good. now the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Get into that bullpen, work him over. Give us the edge for game three. Now a ball nice. lined toward the alley in left center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And they'll tack on one more as this is now a 5 nothing game. Jared Burton is going to come on and make an appearance here. He though I suspect even he <laughs> couldn't have predicted he'd be taking over in just the fourth inning. So uh, you guys are following on the website at uh, Dynasty Nation. Um, I actually dealt Jared Burton and Mike Pelfrey to the White Sox right before the trade deadline. So this is kind of funny that Jason Bartlett will be the first one to greet him here, as he'll be doing so with the runner in scoring position and still nobody out. I figured I figured we see him eventually, but uh, it just kind of surprised me. I, I, I hadn't thought about it until he showed up. Now this pitch is nice. swung on and lined over the head of the shortstop Ramirez. It's a base hit. Send him home. Send him. And the run will score from second here as that breaks it open to a 6 nothing lead. Well, six-run lead for the Ryan rookie Dozier is uh, definitely positive. for 2 thus far. And here's a swing and a ball lifted in the air into fairly deep center field. Eaton has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. Joe Maurer will dig in one for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. Big Joe, 333 average, still leading the American League. It's kind of going back and forth between the two balls and two strikes now. Major League lead. Six uh, runs, nine hits, and no errors. Can't remember in the ball who's game first in the National League, but they've been kind of battling back and forth lately. 
And this oh, ball no. swung on and hit on the ground back uh -oh. up the box. Ramirez for one. <laughs> on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Good inning nonetheless. Alejandro Deaza will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. And this ball swung Stay on with and it, hit on the ground. There we and go. And this is knocked nice. down on the mound. And the recovery is a quick one as he gets his man at first. Get your gold lover right there. To record the first out of the inning. He was swinging at two seamers inside. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. I don't really mind missing there because I'm kind of scared just to throw a regular now fastball inside. Hard hit Ooh. down Good. the line. Nice. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and there are two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone, and in steps Adam Dunn. Well, Making easy work of it so far. Put two up, two down. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, one and two now. All right. Let's see if we can get him chasing. And he got nice. him. Kendry's Morales will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. Anybody think that Kendris Morales kind of looks like a combination of uh, Loyoto, Machida, and BJ Penn? And this is swung on and bounced up the center of the diamond. Random alteration. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring in the left fielder, Josh Willingham. Out in front nice. of the fastball here as this is drilled into left field. That's a base hit. Willingham's the other guy. I think it was la last game I was talking about Plouffe likes to rip it down the line. Willingham does too. Big pull hitter. Oswaldo Arcia will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. Oswaldo Arcia. A 2-1 offering. And this will be swung on and bounced on the ground a second. A beat, beat diving it. effort here as he gets nice. a glove on it. And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time, they won't get an out on the play. Three for three for Wally. Trevor Plouffe will try Trevor it again. Plouffe. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. Hate starting with our two counts. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and two. But it's they definitely have now in the so. White Sox bullpen. They'll stand up a lefty and a right-hander to throw. Ah. And that's swung on and fouled oh, straight oh, oh. <laughs> Superman. All right, well, I'll take that. I thought it was going to be an out for sure. Here's a fastball that swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And under it. Vesaido is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Jason Kubel. See what he can do here with two on and two out here in inning number five. Took him out late in the game last night, and he was like, screw you. I'm going to get you a double and score a run tonight. Now the pitch. Oh, now the swing and rips it down the line. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Right get, right. get there, get there, get there. Nice. And on the error, a run is going to score. Error? Kurt Suzuki will dig in. He I think there was an error out there, was there? Time what did I miss? Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. A little impatient there, trying to chase it, keep the thingy going. Seven to nothing. That's broke out. Look Ooh. out! That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Well, chin that music says it all in the third base dugout. On the ground to third. Flip will go to Keppinger at second, and that ends the inning. Connor Gillespie will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. All right, we got a completely blue zone, so we can go anywhere we want. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Uh, let's just try to get him out. All right, now, you know the last guy that kept following pitches off. I got him to swing and miss, so careful there. Tries to get him Ooh. to chase the curve ball away, but it breaks outside. Two and two now. 
I come up with something. I want something kind of running in, but he doesn't have anything to kind of counteract with that other than just a fastball. And this is on the ground uh. toward the hole. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Jeff Keppinger will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And he gets uh -oh. around on get the there, fastball there, here. This is hit fairly there well we out go. toward left field. And this will be hauled in shy of the track for out number one as the runner will retreat to first. Diane Viciedo will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. No runs, two hits, and no errors so far for the White Sox. And he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd of foul ball. Keppinger was all red when I looked at his uh, his box there, um, which I'm not super concerned with. But Viciedo, a little bit different story. I want to be a little bit more uh, Here's the two and two careful offering. with him. A full count, three balls and two strikes. I hit the, I'd actually hit the button twice there and throw off my timing. So I'll just try to keep it down and get him out. On the ground down the first baseline, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Normally I would come up. Normally I come upstairs with a fastball, but I guess they low here. And a there we go. Ball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Tyler Flowers will dig in. Drew a walk his first time around. 1-1 one, one on the way. Grounded foul. And quick wrists here as this is yanked down the third base line. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. Now for some reason, whenever the computer dies for balls, Adam Eaton. it looks right. Another shot looks here. normal. Out and lined when I die for them, <laughs> it looks like they're flopping on a hand grenade or something. All right, a little bit of trouble here. Running around some first and second, so let's quit screwing around here and get out of the inning. Fastball misses upstairs as that moves things to three and one now. Mm. All right, as Harold Baines makes his way to the plate, we gotta go to the bullpen. You know he's got a shutout going here. Actually, just a three hit. <laughs> it's only the fifth inning. Um, in the I don't want to give right up this lead. Up so hopefully we can get him out of here and proceed accordingly. And this is pop foul off to the right and back into the seats. Towards uh -oh, center field. Uh -oh. That's in there. Base hit. I don't think he had any shot at him at home, and I should have went home. Alejandro Deaza. See what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home here in the inning so far. Do a little mound visit here. And the reliever is warm out there. Just to see if I. Uh, I don't know if this plays any role at all. <laughs> I'm going to see if maybe it calms him down a little bit. If nothing else, Swarzak's ready to come in. Great debut for four innings, and now it's kind of falling apart. No lead to speak of at second. Here's the pitch. Swing and a ball pretty there. well right, hit out towards it. left center. Willingham is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So, a little bit of trouble. And a new pitcher making his way toward the mound. It's the hard-throwing right-hander, Matt Lindstrom. Jason Bartlett will get things started here in the top of inning number six. Keep Swarzak going out there just in case. We'll see how the sixth inning starts. A ball hit hard Ooh, to the nice. left side. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Now, if we want to add a couple insurance runs, I am A-OK -okay with Ryan that. Dozier will stand in, and they've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0 for 3 thus far. A 
little bit outside. Two and one. Two one pitch is a slider taken for a cold strike two. Just looking for a fastball there. I didn't. I mean, I, I, I might have been able to rip that, but it wasn't what I was looking for. He's ready now. The pitch. Of course, neither was now that. A ball hit in the air <laughs> to left center. Eaton will slide uh, over and put this one away. Such a lackadaisical catch. One. Like he should be punished for that. Joe Mauer. Get two hands on it. Shot. He hit into a double play his last time. A high school baseball coach would be so disappointed in that. On the ground towards second. Ramirez for one. Relay to first in time. And just Jose Abreu will dig in for the third time now. He struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. And this is pop foul, but not perhaps do playable well behind with, uh, first. And this is handled inside by Mauer, and there's so. your first out. I'll take you. Adam Dunn will stand in now. He singled and struck out in two trips. You know what I just realized is Adam Dunn's in here as a lefty, replacing Paul Canerco, who's a righty, against a pitcher who's a lefty. It's another one of those uh, lineup oddities from MLB The Show. The 3-2 pitch to Dunn. Just does stay alive as this is foul back. He does scare me, though, so I want to be careful with what I throw here. I don't want to just throw fastballs, but I don't want to hang a breaking ball. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still and three and two. Don't really want to walk him, but let's see. And Dunn's going to lay off this one, so he coaxes out a walk, and I know they didn't want to give in to him there with the base open. I don't really like well that hit. too much. Deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats. Foul. I was willing to take that walk. You know, I mean, I don't want to give him something to hit a home run. You know, this guy's probably, I don't know anything about him, but he's probably not the power hitter that Adam Dunn is, so. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the shoe around. Jeff Keppinger step in now. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Now All right, he got through six innings. Fairly we'll well take out it. To deep center field. Arcia will get Ooh, there and I he thought they were going to screw me on that again. The side. Kendry's Morales will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. So that's going to do it for um the rookie Darnell will get him out after six innings, two runs. I'll take that, but uh, I'm gonna get some uh, fresh meat in there for the last couple of innings here. Make sure we hold on to this lead. Swing and a hard liner to center field, and that's a base hit. So the pressure's on to open up the inning. I wish I had a box score here. So many innings I've opened with a base hit. Josh Willingham will dig in. He homered back in inning number three. Nobody out, runner on first. Here's a ground ball nice. now through the hole into left, and they've got something cooking here. Back-to-back -back singles to lead off the inning. Oswaldo Arcia will try and keep it going. Three for three thus far. Let's go four for four. I don't think I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I don't. I think I've had a four hit game, but I don't think I've any, ever had anybody four and four. Now the pitch. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's I was pretty sure I held up on that, but you never know with these umps. And this ball nice. is on the ground down the line to first. Nice. And it's a fair ball as that'll carry him off the first base bag and down the right field line. And they'll add another to the total. It's eight to two now. Nate Jones come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Keep Trevor Plouffe. Pounding on the runs, wearing out that bullpen. The bullpen. And it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. 
Ooh. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. A little bit tardy on that one. Comes set, now the pitch. Gets under it a bit as this is hit high in the air out toward left center. Oh, no, no, no. Is there. Let's see if they try it. And he might have thought about it at third, but with one away, decides not to risk it. I tried to tag, and I went too Jason early. Kubel will step Still not good at RBI single this trolling runners on the base. How do you... You guys saw the video the other day. Check out the video on YouTube. Um, and this is taken by YouTube.com slash Majesty95. I've got triple play in the title. I think it was against the Royals. Um, yeah, my, my base running is awful. And he lays off again, ball three. Making him work. And a full Ooh. count now, three and two. He's barely got the corner, or the bottom of the zone there. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. And that's through, a base hit. As I mentioned, YouTube.com slash Majesty95 is my YouTube Suzuki. channel. We'll uh, Twitch.com or Twitch.tv slash Majesty95. Uh, Twitter is at Real Majesty95. Facebook is Facebook.com slash PX1 Sports. And then, you, of course, you can go to my website, PX1Sports.com. Now, this is popped up behind the plate for Flowers. Flowers has a bead on it, and he's got it two down. Could take a better swing at that one, I guess. Bartlett will get his shot now with two on and two out here in inning number seven. Swords like has got to be worn out because I don't think they've sat him down. Way outside. Probably get somebody else going. Backstop, two and one. We're gonna bring in some defensive replacements in this one. Get some guys some rest. Uh, oh. And meanwhile, this pitch gets away from him. And this is low, ugly. but it's corralled quickly, and both runners will have to hang on. Thugly, as we like to say around here. Uh oh, crazy drunk right now. It's coming out. Late on the fastball there as this one skied oh, out towards straightaway right. It. Therefore, it is Diazza to put it away and retire the side. Anthony Swarzak. So we'll see if Swarzak's got anything left after warming up for two lead, innings. So he'll just look to get some work in here. Diane Viciedo will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Here we go. Well hit to right, but that's a foul ball. And he struck Ooh. him out. And nice. there's the hat trick. And that's his third Pulled the string on him. out of the ball game. Tyler Flowers will step in. Singled and came around to score his last time. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. The 2-2. Two -two. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. And now he'll step off as they look for a strikeout pitch. So he'll pull the string again. And they're working the outer this half goes. here, but that one's wide for ball three. Adam Eaton is on deck. He'll hit next. See so we can find a hole. in very tight and it's ball four. Man, that went way too far in. Adam Eaton will stand in 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. A double play ball to second. Four, six, nice. three. It's a double play and the made. inning is over. Brian Dozier will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. I was going to bring in some defense replacements. I totally got distracted and forgot. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Hard hit towards center. Eaton is right there, one down. <laughs> That's such a lazy attempt Joe at Mauer, catch. Get another shot. He hit into a double play his last time. Uh, one and a half some replacements in. These guys don't need to be batting here. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. 
Kendrys Morales will dig in. He singled and later scored his last time. Opposite field to left. Vesaido is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Alexi Ramirez will lead things right. off here in the bottom. Now you get some defensive three. guys in. I should let you change out more than one guy at a time. That's kind of ridiculous. change for the twins now playing first base number 27 Chris Harmon. now a swing and wouldn't you know it here's a ground ball to the guy fresh into the ball game out at short nice. and the off balance throw gets him nice play for the out I was trying to debate where I was going to put him in and uh, stand in now. he's been <laughs> kept off quiet going short. out of the number three hole hitless in his three at bats so far and he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two-strike pitch and chops it foul. Now a swing and a fly ball. Kubel is over, and he puts it away in foul ground for the second out. Jose Abreu will stand in as they're quickly down to their final four outs tonight. Swing and a ball hit hard to third. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Ronald Belisario will come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Josh Willingham will get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the ninth. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. That's funny. I'm probably going to leave Swarzak in for the ninth inning, and he's going to wind up getting a uh, three inning save. Oh, if Texas that actually tracks it, I think there's some kind of bugginess with the save. The uh, save logic in there. But the he should and if he completes to get a three inning and a save. On a ball in the dirt as they'll need to throw down to first. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first out. Aaron Hicks will get his first cuts here. So we're just going through the motions, trying to finish it out here. Big lead, so just try not to get anybody injured. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away. So the working the relievers for tomorrow's games. Not hurting though. Now a ground ball towards the hole. He'll get to this one deep in the hole. A flip from short right gets him, and there are two away. Trevor Plouffe will try and erase his 0 for, 0 for 4 in the ball game. After the last five games he's had, having an 0 for 4 is kind of, here, of uh, it's foul. kind of shocking from the Ploofer. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Adam Dunn will dig in one for two to this point in the ball game. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Should I get him out? One, two, three, and now a fastball go that's popped home. up. Who out is going to short right field? Dozier Ooh. is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth. This crowd was hoping for one away. That scared me there. My shortstop wasn't Connor going anywhere. Gillespie will step in. A ground out victim as last time. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Swing. Bada bada. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. All right, let's quit playing around. 
trying to nibble here and he misses to run. trying to nibble. Now, three and two. Jeff Keppinger waits on deck. This is hit sharply to the left side. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Well, it's never easy. Is Jeff it? Keppinger will try again. Over three thus far. I'm going to play with him, see if I can get him swinging at the fastball. Fastball strike or looking. Called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Diane Viciedo will dig in. Strikeout victim is last time. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And there it is. A pretty good jolt into this one. High and deep Ball to game. center. I'll get back. And that is going to wrap things up as the catch is made and the Twins have claimed the fourth consecutive victory here as this ball game is over. And the I Twins didn't realize that was our fourth straight win. For the contributions of this man, Josh Willingham. Jay Will. Bubblegum card. He's our top player in the game. Big bomb. Three for five. Nice return from uh, being out for a couple games with a blister. So, only got a one, one walk, so I got to work on my uh, my uh, my patience there. Been <laughs> 17 hits, 17 hits, nine runs for the Swins. Willingham three for five. Morales, as usual, two hits a game, hit 444. So the rookie, Logan Darnell, six innings, four hits, two runs, two earns, four walks. Or so I guess decent, you know. It's a decent quality start. First pitch, we'll take it. Swarzak does get the save, so he gets the <laughs> gets the three inning save in a nine two game. So that'll wrap it up, man. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Again, check me out on YouTube, youtube.com slash majesty ninety five, twitch.com or twitch tv slash majesty ninety five, uh, Twitter at real majesty ninety five, Facebook dot com slash px one sports, or just go to px one sports dot com. Thanks for watching. Check you out next time. We are out.